Hello, I'm Matt, the Disillusion 1811, and in this video, I want to show with you how I mounted the DMOS shovel to the Go Fast Camper Excursion on this rooftop tent adventure mobile that I have. So this DMOS shovel is made here in the United States, and with that being made in the United States, it comes with a uh, high price tag. But I will say that this shovel, it's the Delta shovel, and it is pretty badass uh, and in high quality. I purchased this during their warehouse summer sale, uh, which basically gave everything at a reduced cost. I got the mount at a reduced cost, but more importantly, this is a factory second shovel and it came at a significantly reduced cost. And I looked at the shovel and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm sure it's gonna dig rock and mud and sand and everything else just fine, even though it's a seconds. So to mount it to the Go Fast Camper tent, I ended up buying their universal awning bracket from Go Fast Camper. And then this is the DMOS shovel bracket right here. And so I had to drill a couple holes to put it into the Go Fast uh, awning bracket. Not a big deal, pretty easy. Don't do what I did and mount it in this direction where the handle is facing the front of the vehicle. Because with that T-handle, which I keep in the back of my uh, deck system so I can access it. So the T-handle, uh, when you're driving about 35 to 45 miles per hour, you start hearing this audible whistle coming off that T-handle. So I had to take the T-handle off of it and store it in the back of the truck. So if you're gonna mount this, I would recommend, if you can, as far as spacing goes, mount it flip-flop so the T-handle faces towards the rear of the vehicle. And I suspect you won't have any of that uh, noise when you're driving down the highway. So that's just a super short video on how I mounted the shovel on the Go Fast Camper and what I would do differently the next time if I was to do this, learn from my mistakes. So thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to get out there and escape the matrix yourself.